Jordan Bertout is set to become another frustrating case of flop turned good for Aston Villa fans who had to endure a single season of pure, unadulterated averageness from the player back in 2015-16. For all his promise, what a disappointing acquisition Jordan Bertout turned out to be. Brought in from League One side FC Nates on a five-year deal in 2015, the touted, complete midfielder should have helped Tim Sherwood's Aston Villa towards Premier League safety. Sherwood said at the time, I'm really pleased Jordan decided to choose Aston Villa over the other options, he had and opt to continue his development with us. He is only 22 but he is vastly experienced for someone that age. The former Villa manager added, he has played over 140 games in France and is a really exciting young player. I know he is very highly rated, so we are delighted to get this deal over the line, source, Guardian. Unfortunately, he did very little prevent the Midlands Giants from suffering relegation that year. His distribution was poor, if not a little too reserved, the so-called experience he possessed may have sufficed in the vastly inferior League One but rarely paid dividends in the Premier League, and he ultimately succumbed to the pressures of carrying a below-par Villa side. In fairness, knowing Tim Sherwood and how abysmal he turned out to be at pretty much every club he spewed his nonsensical rubbish, it should have been alarm bells from the point he praised Barrett out. Alas, Villa fans were left in the lurch and made to wait patiently for the day the really exciting young player fulfilled his potential. And eventually it came, just not for the right side. The former Villa man is now plying his trade in Italy for Fiorentina and has finally found his feet four years on from his initial transfer. Some standout performances in the domestic league reintroduced his name into the limelight and subsequently reminded us all of what a colossal mess he was. Jubilation for Fiorentina fans, we're sure, commiseration for the villains. Just how bad was Barrett out at Aston Villa? Still, considering his form now, should have he been given more of a chance.